Thank you for joining me for the next few minutes while I recap some of the points I made in my talk on digital marketing strategy for 2016. Back in January, I had a chance to visit with many of you at the Craft and Hobby Association's 75th anniversary mega show. While I was there, I gave a talk on digital marketing strategy for 2016. So I'm gonna recap some of the points that I made in that talk. But first of all, let me take a second and introduce myself. My name is Tony Passy. I am the CEO and founder of a marketing agency located in Salt Lake City, Utah called Fire Toss. I'm also a marketing professor at the Eccles School of Business at the University of Utah. Today I've created for you a series of videos so you can go as deep as you'd like to go into some of the topics that I spoke about. So this first video that you're listening to is just going to be a quick overview on the topic of organic, display, and mobile traffic and the changes that you should expect for 2016. Some of those, by the way, we're already starting to see. If any of these topics are important to you and you'd like to do a deeper dive, you can take a look at our other videos on these specific topics. Okay, so let's get started. When we talked about organic at the convention, we talked about content and link valuations. The content that you need to be worried about is the content that you produce. We are producing so much content at this point, but not all of it is quality content. So the big tip is you need to slow down. That's going to greatly increase your rankings. The other thing to be aware of is make sure that you're putting your content in the most valuable location. It doesn't always belong on your blog. Sometimes you should publish it to LinkedIn and sometimes you should publish it as a guest blogger on an entirely different website. The other thing that we spoke about at the show is infographics. Infographics are wonderfully exciting if you've never seen one. The problem is, is we've all seen a lot of infographics in the last three or four years. So my suggestion is let's flip over some of our efforts to video. Spend the time that it takes to create great video and you're going to see a lot higher user engagement. The next area that we spoke about is display advertising. If you're somebody that's selling display advertising or maybe you run a website with content that you publish and you use display advertising to make your money, you're starting to feel the effects of ad blockers. Ad blockers were up 50% in 2015 over 2014. What we're seeing now to combat the ad blockers are ad blocker detection software installed on websites. You've probably seen this. When you visit a website and have an ad blocker enabled, the website will tell you, hey, you need to temporarily disable your ad blocker in order to see my content. This is starting to bring some of the revenue back for the display market. So my advice is that you get ad blocker detection software and put it onto your website. The last thing I wanted to mention before I go is at firetoss.com slash tools, you can find four free to use tools that are gonna greatly help you with your digital marketing in 2016. There's a free tool to run an SEO report on your site and see if you're ranking properly for the search terms you want to rank for and who's beating you out. There's also a free local listing report in case you have a physical location where you're trying to drive traffic to on the map. And then we've listed Google's PageSpeed Insights tool that helps speed up your website. And the last tool is the mobile friendly test tool. This helps you see what Google sees when they load your website on a mobile device. Again, thanks for joining me. And if you have any more questions about any of the subjects we talk about, go ahead and watch the other videos and take a deeper dive. My name's Tony Passy. My information's on the screen. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you.